Welcome back guys. So the other week, the Japan national team and Keiji Suzuki, they announced a couple of other people who are joining the Olympic team for Paris 2024. So we know who is competing for Japan for all of the weight classes except for two. So we'll talk about all the weight classes in this video. First up, under 60. And this is one of the categories that's in a bit of contention at the moment. Nagayama, obviously he's had some really good results recently. And Takato, I mean, he should be the number one pick. He's had some results that are not as good as Nagayama's. Still not bad, but not as good as Nagayama's. For Nagayama, silver at the Masters 2022, Ulaanbaatar Grand Slam, gold, and Masters in 2023. Gold for him as well. But Takato, on the other hand, obviously he won the World Championships in 2022, but then the following year, no medal at the World Championships 2023. He got a bronze medal at the Masters. So you can kind of see Japan's problem right now. Nagayama, he's coming into a bit of form and then Takato may be dropping off. I mean, he never used to lose. So what they're probably going to do, Tokyo Grand Slam, they'll put both of these guys out and I think they'll just go with the person who gets the, the highest on the podium. Next up, under 66. So yes, they have gone with Abe Hifumi. He's looking to get his second gold medal. He may even go for three. He's 26 years of age. So it is definitely possible no one is stopping him right now. He just looks unbeatable. But if you go onto the, the website that Japan has for the national team, they have an A group and a B group for their national athletes. Maruyama, he's still in the A group. So I think that means he has to compete. We'll probably see him a little bit more on the circuit. But I do know he's giving a seminar in Europe at the moment. We'll see what happens. He might be removed from that group soon. But if I was Maruyama, I would try to stay in it just in case Abe gets injured, because that's an opportunity, right? So 66, Abe Hifumi. Next up, 73, Hashimoto. They've gone with Hashimoto. I mean, Ono Shohei, he retired kind of suddenly. He had a lot of problems. Just didn't feel like he was going to be winning anymore. Announced his retirement. He's gone. And they've gone with Hashimoto. Now Hashimoto, I mean, he's had some really good performances, some kind of lackluster performances, but there's no one else. There's no one else in the category. Oyoshi Ken, they gave him some opportunities, but he had a few uh, early round exits, so he's definitely not at the level of Hashimoto. So 73, they've gone with Hashimoto there. Next up, 81, my man, Nagase, they've chosen him again. And I'm not sure what happened to Fujiwara. I'm not sure if he's injured, but I haven't seen him in a while. It was kind of close between those two. Sasaki, he also got injured. And then they were sending out Kohara. He was kind of someone who was on the team a long time ago, fell off the radar and then came back. Kohara, he was doing pretty good in the international scene, but just recently they put both of them out in the Masters. Nagase, he came home with a bronze medal. Kohara, he came home with nothing. And I think that was kind of what sealed the deal. Under 90s is another interesting one. So they've gone with Murao, but it was kind of weird. So you had Tajima. Tajima was doing pretty well, I thought. But Murao, when he goes out there, he's just much more consistent. Ends up on the top of the podium or on the podium at least most of the time that he goes out. He's had a, an injury recently, and so we haven't really seen him. Only seen him once this year. And then there was Mashiyama. Mashiyama, he missed weight once and they removed him from the team completely. He's not even in the B group anymore. And that's kind of interesting because Mashiyama, he got a win over Beka Uri. Kind of looked really dominant in that fight. And so I thought they might potentially consider him just because, you know, he's got that trump card. He can take out Beka Uri, maybe more so than Murao. But being consistent, I mean, that was enough for Murao. He just... Stuck to his paces, did what he had to do, and he's been selected. So just like under 60, under 100s, this is another one which is not decided at the moment. Wolf Aaron, I mean, he's had some really bad performances, but so have his teammates. Ida Kentaro, he's fallen off a cliff, just had some really bad results recently. Green, I think they need to send him out a little bit more. He needs to prove himself on a bigger stage. It was the, the recent university games, but that's not the, the same level as Grand Slams, Masters, World Championships, these kinds of things, and especially the Olympics. So on that Japanese site that I mentioned that has the, the list of the members who are in the national squad, the A squad, the B squad, 
Ida Kintaro is still in the A squad and Wolf Aaron is not. He's not in the, the A squad and Ida, his world ranking is higher than Aaron Wolf. So from like a numbers perspective, Ida is in a better position. They're going to do the same with under 60 as under 100s. They're just going to send them all out to the Tokyo Grand Slam and whoever takes that, that medal, they'll probably decide it with that. I'm not sure where I'm leaning, but I have a feeling Aaron Wolf, his best days are behind him. Ida Kentaro, he's just got to clean up some things in his game. Really does need to clean up a few things. More experience on the mat would be good before the Tokyo Grand Slam. I hope they send him out soon because I really don't think Aaron Wolf has it in him anymore. Right, next up, last category, plus 100s. Saito, they've gone with Saito. This was mostly decided from the World Championships and the Masters. And Kagiura, I mean, he just had some some performances that he could have done better in. Really needs to be beating the international competition. Sure, maybe he can beat Saito sometimes, but you need to be pe beating people like Kim, Zalashvili, Rakimov. And Saito, he seems a bit more consistent against these guys. So they've gone with him. So that's it guys, what do you think so far with the Japanese Olympic team? I don't think it will be as strong as the team that competed at Tokyo. But still, I think a lot of medals are coming Japan's way. I'll do a predictions video another day. But you guys, let me know. What do you think of under 60 and under 100? Who do you think they're going to go with? And I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Alright guys, peace out. I'll see you later. Bye.